Next, we will be going over your cervical traction unit. The specific exercise is standing cervical traction. We can use this unit for multiple exercises, so make sure you are looking at your sheet at what the doctor prescribes. I will first show you how we are going to set this up. It will come in this box just like this. And once you open it, you will see multiple parts. This is where I get the most questions on how to set this unit up, and I'm going to show you just that today. First, I want you to pull out the actual unit. It will come just like this. Now, this is the best thing to understand. Everyone is a different height, so this comes in all heights. You can use this for a child, and then the taller you get, the more we will tie slack out of it. So I'm gonna use this as though I'm setting it up for myself. I'm 5'7", so when I look at this traction unit, this is going to be too low for me. I'm gonna go ahead and tie some slack out of it. This part does not have to be exact, okay? I'm just gonna go ahead and tie some slack out of it. You see I tied a good bit. I'm gonna set this right here for a second. I'm gonna pull out the next part. This is going to be our door stopper unit and the adjustment tool. This is going to be just a sheet of paper that shows you how to set everything up, which is what I'm gonna do right now. In the office, this is the exercise you do when you first come in and after you sign in. It's what's on the wall and you can adjust through the clips. At home, you will be adjusting through this, okay? So let's go ahead and set this up and then I'll show you how to adjust further. What you're going to do, this portion has a hole at the top, okay, or a loop. We're gonna use that in a second. You'll take the whole unit and insert it through, open up the loop and put the door stopper through the hole that was already made. And then I want you to pull all the way through. You should get something like this, and it's going to be your unit now. So this right here is what I'm gonna show you in a few minutes is going to go over the door. But just to show you, if we needed this to be raised any higher, this now becomes our clip. So you will just pull this through as high as you need it to go. and that raises the entire unit up higher. Next, let's go ahead and look at it over the door. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to use this on the door. So you will take the whole unit and make sure that this goes over the door. Go ahead and close. And then I want you to make sure to give it a good tug so that it flushes up against the wall, okay? So as you'll see, what we like is for this bar to be about the same height as our shoulders. It is a little low for me, so I'm gonna show you two different options, okay? First thing, you're gonna go ahead and set this behind your neck, and this is underneath the chin. Now, I like mine a little bit tighter, so what you could do if you do have good balance, take a step back so that it tightens up slightly underneath the chin. That is option one, to get us in the correct position. Option two would be to go ahead and we're gonna tighten this like I showed you previously. We will go ahead and pull this through to raise it higher so that it is going to be better for my height. So, once I pull some of that through, I'll adjust up at the top and let me show you what it has done. So it has raised this slightly. So now, before I put this back, yours will be a little bit difficult at first because it is new to work out. As you'll see, it's a little hard to scoot together, but I do want these to be closer in, okay? So that it cups the spine. So once those are closer in, let's put that back behind our neck. Perfect. It's good and snug underneath the chin. So now, your preference, you can hold on to these. You don't have to. And you're going to be taking a squat down letting that raise the chin right up. You can take a one to two second pause at the bottom, okay? 